How old were you when you invented Bitcoin? <laughs> Yes, always. How old was I when I invented Bitcoin? No, I did not invent Bitcoin, at least not yet. Maybe when I'm 200 years old, I can travel back through time. But as far as I know now, I'm not Satoshi. Yeah, there's a lot of firsts. I think the first that jumps to mind is a number of countries, 33 new countries this year. And I also met a few head of states, many regulators for the first time. Uh, many users, communities for the first time. The industry de dealt with a few f uh, first problems uh, we faced this year. So that's quite a lot of firsts. So uh, yeah, uh, when I buy, with the market goes down. And when I sell, the market goes up. There's a common feeling uh, among traders in crypto or actually in any market. If you have that feeling, then you're probably not a very good trader. Um, don't trade, just hold. So yeah, this hoodie is not for sale. It's for community members who are very helpful. If you just help out answering questions on Twitter, in Telegram groups, and when our teams notice you, uh, you'll get a hoodie. It doesn't have a price, so it's priceless. If all Binance users want to withdraw their funds at the same time, will Binance go bankrupt? Uh, short answer is no. It will be completely fine. Uh, we are more than 100% reserves on every single coin um, that we hold uh, on behalf of our users. So feel free to withdraw at any time. If you have any concerns, uh, we'll be good. Uh, Binance somehow becomes bankrupt. Uh, would Trust Wallet be safe or would the Binance uh, user assets be safe? The answer to both questions are yes. And let's say that, you know, Binance completely disappears for whatever reason, we shut it down. Uh, Trust Wallet is completely safe. So you control your private key. You need to make sure that you have a backup. It's safe. Um, it has nothing to do with Binance. Binance, doesn't matter what happens to Binance, Trust Wallet is completely on your own. Uh, so how would I manage a, um, a situation like the FTX collapse? Well, first of all, the key is not to get into that situation first. Um, it's not just when a crisis happened, what do you do? When you move tens of billions of user funds and lost it, that's kind of hard to manage. But even when that happens, I think the best things to do is stop everything, be transparent, communicate, be open. But more importantly, the, key, the trick is not to even go anywhere near that. So there's a few principles in business that you never violate. Never touch user funds, keep them secure, keep them separate, and run a healthy business, or run a sustainable business. Uh, don't take shortcuts. I think prevention is much, much more important than, uh, than handling it. But don't try to fool anyone again. Does Cece ever sleep? Uh, yes, I actually do sleep uh, quite well. Uh, but I usually do two sleeps. I usually sleep five, six hours during the night, and then I take a half an hour to 45 minute nap during the afternoon. And I find that combination just somehow works really well for me. And I have the luxury to be able to do that uh, because we work from home. Thank you, Renato. Yeah, so there, I would say this two or three more, three things that's very valuable. I think number one is always be ethical. So never touch ethical boundaries. Uh, never move user funds, uh, never go out debt. Don't do things that hurt your users. Always do the right thing. Even though we're managing a very large number of user assets, we sleep very soundly. We know we're doing the right thing. I think number two is build a strong team. Um, I think at Binance, we've been very lucky that we have a very strong team running Binance and they've been, we together build a very successful platform. Uh, number three, I would say, uh, is to be in touch with the people, the community. It includes the users, um, the angels, the KOLs, the regulators, um, even the traditional financial players. So I think those are the three things I've learned that help us become very successful. So I'm most, I'm most excited that 2022 will be over. I think 2022 was a pretty tough year uh, with lots of negative things happen, also in bear market. I hope 2023 will see more positive things happening in the industry. I hope to see more builders, developers building applications that people use. More GameFi, more uh, Metaverse, more NFTs, uh, more DeFi, more CeFi, more wallets, more compliance uh, protocols, more KYC solutions, even more SMS solutions. So uh, we just got to make it easy for normal people to access crypto. So I'm very excited about 2023 so we can finally put 2022 behind us and we continue to build this industry. 
So thank you everyone for all the questions. I would like to uh, wish everyone, including our users, the community, uh, KOLs, our Binance Angels, our team, everybody around the world, Happy New Year. And we hope, we look forward to a better 2023. And but great job, CD, thank you so much. All right, thank you. The hardest part of the job. Thank you.